Hey, what's going on guys? Sincere. And a lot of you requested that I make a transmog video going over my transmog sets. So here it is. We're going to be going over two of the main sets I use. And I'm going to show you guys where and how you can get each piece. So you too can look like a badass. Now let's go ahead and get started. Alright, now starting off with the Netherstorm eye patch, you can get this item from a quest in Netherstorm in the Outlands called Sabotage the Warp Gate. To pick up this quest, just head on over to Netherstorm and talk to Dryja, who should be hanging out just outside Ecodome Midrealm. You shouldn't really have any trouble finding him now. This quest is an easy level 70 quest, so if you're level 90, you're not going to have any problem with it. Now the rest of the set is just full blood fang, so you can get all the pieces from Blackwing Lair except for the hood and the pants. If you don't want to use the eye patch and you'd rather use the hood, you can get the hood from Anixia's lair and it drops off Anixia. And as for the pants, they drop off of Ragnaros at Molten Core. Just keep in mind as you're farming the pieces, it will take a really long time to get each piece. It took me about 5 months to get all the pieces to the set. So unless you're really lucky, it'll probably take you between 2-6 to six months to get all the pieces. And the reason why it'll probably take so long is because you can only do the same raid once a week and there's going to be times where nothing's going to drop for you that week so just keep that in mind don't expect to get the full set within two weeks because that's just not possible so you just got to keep at it and be persistent and you'll get the full set eventually for my daggers i'm transmogging the gloaming blade and the easiest way to get this is to just buy it off the auction house because the drop rate percentage on this item is really low you get it from a vine crack junk box and it has a 0.07% drop chance, so you're better off just forking over the gold and getting it off the auction house. The price varies quite a bit between servers, but I'd say the average price would be between 13 to 15k. I was lucky I got mine for 9k. Now if you see the Nightblade, it's the same exact model as the Glowing Blade up for cheaper on your auction house. I'd go with that instead. Alright, now that we have this set out of the way, let's check out the next one. Okay, starting off with the headpiece for this set. I'm using the Cursed Vision of Sargeras, and this item drops off of Illidan in Black Temple. It only has an 18% drop chance, so it may take you a couple runs to get it. The rest of the set is just full Night Slayer, so you can get everything else from Molten Core. Now, much like the Blood Fang set, it will take a long time to get every piece. But to be honest, it shouldn't take you as long as the Blood Fang set. I'd say between 2-4 to four months you should have the full set. Now, as for my daggers, I'm still using the Gloamy Blade, so nothing has changed there. And that's pretty much it. Those are my two big transmog sets that I use for the most part. So I hope this video answered a lot of questions that you guys had. If you guys have any more video ideas that you'd like me to do, just shoot me a message or leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.